slide 39, lesson 2, numbers, months. There will be some people that are familiar with the Hebrew calendar, having seen it elsewhere. Uh, the modern Hebrew calendar calls the months by the Babylonian names listed here, and some of those are mentioned in the Tanakh or Old Testament in the books of Esther and Nehemiah and Zechariah and so forth after the Babylonian or during the Babylonian exile. But in the Torah, the first five books and um, elsewhere, they are referred to simply by a different name, the first month, second month, third month and so forth. So the name for the first month is Hachodesh Harishon, the month the first, or the month first. Uh, Chodesh means month, Chodesh. And it's related to the word Chadash, which means new, because the month renews itself like the moon every month. We have a new moon, we have a new month. Indeed, in English, the word for moon and month are related. So uh, a new moon and a new month and a new covenant. Some people call it a renewed covenant, well, in a sense, but it's a new covenant in that it has different promises. The old had a curse over it, the new is, uh, uh, doesn't have such a curse, but uh, has unconditional promises. So the first month is called Hachodesh, the month, Harishon, the first just like the first day of the week, Yom Rishon. And the Babylonian name is Nisan. So this is the month that we have Passover, or Pesach, and the other two feasts, unleavened bread and first fruits, uh, which are all a picture of Yeshua and his death, burial, and resurrection as the first fruits from the dead. So the first month is really about the first coming of the Mashiach, among other things. The second month is called HaChodesh Hashini, or the month, the second, second month, HaChodesh Hashini. And the Babylonian name is Ayah, Ayah, or Ayah. The third month is HaChodesh HaShalishi, the month, the third. HaChodesh HaShalishi, the third month. And the Babylonian name is Sivan. And it's during Sivan that we have the, uh, the feast of Pentecost, or Shavuot, the feast of weeks. 50 days or 7 weeks after the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So this is uh, in the third month in Sivan. And the religious, um, Jewish religious calendar fixes that day on the 6th of Sivan. But the Feast of um, uh, Pentecost or Shavuot has to occur on the first day of the week um, because it's after the Shabbat, um, 50, you know, 49 days plus one, or 50 days after the Shabbat in the first month of uh, during the Feast of Passover. So it can't actually happen always on the 6th of Sivan, but the religious calendar uh, Jewish religious calendar has fixed it to the 6th of Sivan, which is just a bit of a workaround since they were not in the land. So they've been as faithful as they could, perhaps, uh, to the calendar, certainly more faithful than the church has in the last 2,000 years. But the substance of all this is Yeshua HaMashiach himself. The fourth month is called Hachodesh HaRevi'i, Hachodesh HaRevi'i, or the fourth month. And the Babylonian name for this is Tammuz, 
and um, this is a month where they would weep for Tammuz, which is uh, a picture really of the Antichrist or the um, uh, Babylonian, uh, I don't know, sun god, deity. Um, but it's a really wicked thing to do that. And this is, uh, I think this is the period of Lent. Uh, I may be mistaken. But um, see, the church, unfortunately, in ditching the biblical feasts, and the, the biblical Hebrew calendar has added a whole lot of paganized feasts, and um, like Easter, which is Ishtar, uh, the goddess of fertility. And I'm not saying remembering Yeshua's death, burial, and resurrection is a bad thing. No, I think that's a good thing. But uh, we should do it on the the biblical feast days, on on Pesach or Passover, and the. Uh, the feasts of the Torah are actually all about Yeshua. So why did the church get rid of these? Hmm, not good. Anyway, let us continue. The fifth day of the month, HaChodesh HaChamishi. HaChodesh HaChamishi. The fifth, the month, the fifth, literally, but the fifth month. HaChodesh HaChamishi. And this is called the month of Av. We know that Av means father, among other things. And it's during the month of Av where we have the uh, um, the destruction of the temple on the Tishba Av is the ninth of Av, and both temples were destroyed apparently on that day. So that's the month of Av. The sixth month is Hachodesh Hashishi. Hachodesh Hashishi, or Elul. And during Elul, this is the lead up, is 40 days um, of mourning or repentance or fasting, partial fasting, leading up to Tishri, which is uh, Yom the, the month of Yom Kippur, and what the um, Jews call uh, the first of the month, or first uh, of the year, or Rosh Hashanah, but it's actually Yom Teruah, uh, the Feast of Trumpets. So the first of the month of uh, Tishri is um, uh, the Feast of Trumpets. HaChodesh Hashavii, the seventh month. So the, the, the big feast months are in the biblical calendar in Leviticus 23 are the first month where we have the three feasts, uh, uh, Passover, uh, and um, unleavened bread and first fruits, and then 50 days later in the third month we have one feast that is uh, Pentecost or Shavuot, uh, which is that when the law came down on Mount Sinai, and also when the tongues of fire came down on the disciples in the Book of Acts, chapter two, which is um, the law coming down through the Holy Ghost, if you like, and uh, the beginning of Yahweh's work in earnest amongst the Gentiles through faith in the Messiah, Yeshua. Okay, so back down to the seventh month. This is the other big month, and that has the last three feasts, which are the uh, Feast of Trumpets, which uh, is called Yom Teruah, but uh, the uh, religious Jews call it um, Rosh Hashanah, which is very confusing. Uh, I don't want to get into that too much, but Rosh Hashanah means the first of the uh, the year. Um, but it's the seventh month. But it is it is the seventh month is all about the the return of Yeshua to his temple and the day of judgment, which we see mentioned in the book of Revelation. In any case, it's called Achodesh Hashavii. And in Hebrew, uh, in Bab the Babylonian term is um, um, Tishrei, Tishrei. And there is a hint of that being the first in that word Tishrei also. So there's a strange type between the seventh and first month months because the first month is really all about, and the, and the feast associated with it is really about Yeshua's first coming. And the seventh month is really about his second coming, coming suddenly to his temple. Um, for judgment. And um, 
we have the other two feasts as well. Not only do we have the Feast of Trumpets, but we have the Feast of uh, Yom Kippur or the um, Day of Atonement, and we have uh, Sukkot or Tabernacles. The eighth month is Hachodesh Hashemini, or the Babylonian t uh, term Cheshvan. The ninth month is uh, Kislev in the Babylonian, uh, and in the uh, Hebrew, um, it's the um, ninth month, or Hachodesh Hatishii. And during Kislev, we had the uh, the uh, that's when the Maccabees fought the Greeks and um, reinaugurated the temple. Uh, the the uh, temple service restarted that, and um, uh, there's the story of the uh, lighting of the menorah uh, and many other things in the Book of Maccabees. An extra biblical book, but still historical. Um, Let's go on to the tenth month. Hachodesh ha Asiri, Hachodesh ha Asiri, tenth month or Tevat in the uh, Babylonian calendar. We have that mentioned in Esther. And um, the um, the eleventh month, Hachodesh ha Estayesa or Shivat. And the twelfth month, Hachodesh ha Shinim Esa or Ada. And um, now, um, it's not actually mentioned as such, but there is a leap month because it's a solar corrected lunar calendar. That means every so many years, um, there has to be an extra month added. Um, and this happens uh, naturally if we follow the Bali Aviv cycle and we actually uh, measure the first of uh, Nisan by when the barley is um, green or aviv uh, in the land of Israel. And this is a way of solar correcting the lunar calendar. And if that's over your, a little bit over your head, I won't get into all of that now. But um, Yahweh has a, a wonderful uh, natural system for uh, keeping in check with the uh, times and seasons uh, now, Yahweh states in Genesis that he's made the sun, moon, and stars for times and, and seasons and so forth. And those seasons are related to the first and second coming of the Messiah and many other events. So we need to be familiar with the Hebrew calendar and uh, understand uh, the times that we're living in. And so we need to know where we are in time with regards to the Hebrew calendar. So the 13th month is just the Hachodesh uh, HaShlisha Esa, the 13th month. And that's just called Adar Bet, or uh, the uh, Adar 2. So those are the, uh, the, the Hebrew months and the uh, Babylonian uh, terms that came into use after the Babylonian exile.